Well, certainly a lot to remember in 2013, but in the U.S., not all pleasant memories. The government shutdown will no doubt stick in people's minds. Mm -hmm. Teetering on the brink of default severely undermined confidence in the world's leading reserve currencies during the year. China even called for building a de-Americanized world. Mm -hmm. The yuan started to breathe down the dollar's neck with its sights on becoming the new global currency. Let's get some more thoughts on this and where the money race may head in 2014. It wouldn't be the New Year's program without Jerry. Gerald Salenti, uh, publisher of Trends Journal on the line. Hello, Gerald. Looking uh, fan fantastic as always. Debonair. Um, uh, does the yuan, does the dollar have anything to worry about here? Well, you know, really they don't. And the reason being is that there's so many problems in other places. Uh, you look what's going on in China. Very interesting. A trend note. On Christmas Eve, when nobody's watching, concerns mount over China care squeeze. Financial Times, yesterday, 40% interest rates loan that developer took from Credit China. Today, Financial Times, remember this is when nobody's paying attention, it's New Year's Eve. Fears after China key debt level soars over 70%. New York Times, China says local level debt soars stirring fears. Wall Street Journal. China faces mounting local debt. It's the same story around the world. It's not only the United States has pumped in all these trillions of dollars to keep their economies going, so too is China. So in, in essence, what we have are all the world currencies are in trouble. So where do you go? That's the issue. Eventually brought down the U.S. shutdown. Why did it actually happen in the end of the day? I mean, everyone was saying it's a kind of a pantomime. You could see it coming. They said it, they said it wouldn't really go bankrupt at the end of the day. But it was pretty close, wasn't it, for a while? Yes, it was. You know, it's political theatre. And they say that politics is show business for other people. But it makes your eyes people. roll a bit, doesn't it, really, when you're looking from afar? Yeah, again, it's, it's, it's show business for ugly people. Mm -hmm. And when you see the antics of the people playing out, their words, their actions, it was the inept and the incompetence. Look at the polls in the United States. The people are ranking the presidency and Congress, the lowest they ever have in, in, in recorded history. So what did it do? They closed down the parks. Yeah, let's punish the people. The parks stink anyway, but let's close them down. It really accounts for nothing. So at the end of the day, all it was was more political posturing. Gerald, nice to see you tonight. Our very best wishes to you. You have no, when's, it, when's New Year coming where you are? How many hours off? Uh, let's see, in about, um, it's 3 o'clock here in the afternoon. See and by the way, we have a ball drop here in Colonial Kingston, so the streets will be packed with people. Well, you look like you're already set for the New Year. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. Proves it's not recorded. See, nice to see you.